Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Wednesday, which means it is an impossibly easy dinner day. So today I am making probably the one I'm most excited about is the chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pie, so I'm excited. And this looks insanely easy. It's essentially mixed frozen veggies, which I have a ton of, which I'm trying to find more recipes to use up, and a cup of cooked chicken, a can of condensed soup, Bisquick, milk, and an egg. That's it. So, I'm excited. And I was also reading in the notes section online and it said that you can make this in advance and then just bake it off when you're ready. So I'm gonna do that. It's only two o'clock, Paul's eating lunch so he's occupied. I'm going to put this all together and then just shove it in the fridge and then when Matt gets home, I'm just gonna shove it in the oven and I think we're gonna have salad with this tonight. So I've got four chicken breasts now in my Instapot, which is gonna be way more than a cup of cooked chicken. But little Paul here, my 11 and a half month old, is baby led weaning or baby led feeding and he eats protein like it's going out of style. So I just made a whole bunch of it. I'm going to kind of chunk slice it when it comes out and then throw it in my KitchenAid mixer to shred it all up so it's easier for him to eat. And then I'll just use that in this as well as feeding Paul and I eat it on salads, so it's a win-win. The other thing is the one can of condensed cream of chicken soup. So if you like those condensed soup, this is even easier for you. It's essentially just assembling things. So I personally am not really a fan of the condensed soup, so I don't buy them, so I just make my own. I have in the past just used essentially like, it's a French sauce, like a bechamel is what it's called. So you just melt some butter on the stove with flour and then add some milk and it thickens. That's what I used in my freezer meal video a few months back to make my casseroles with. I've used that a ton and it works perfectly. But for Christmas, I got this book. I'm so excited. I already have like a bunch of things flagged. I need to start making more freezer meals. I just haven't because I still have those three stinking turkeys in my freezer. I really need to take one of those out and cook it this weekend. It's just such a production. <laughs> But that's where I shove my freezer meals. I don't have the room in my freezer for freezer meals right now, but I'm prepping on things I'm gonna make. And in her book, and this is by Carrie Truman, it's called The Seriously Good Freezer Meals. And in her book, she talks about how she also is not really a fan of the condensed soup. So she has a make your own recipe. And hers is a little different. It's butter, cornstarch instead of flour, and chicken broth celery salt, which I don't think I have, but that's fine, and then salt and pepper. So I'm making my chicken in the Instant Pot and there's gonna be some juices from that, so I'm probably just going to put that in a Pyrex up until it hits the two cup line and then I'm gonna use that. So I'll list all this recipe info and this book, I'll list the Amazon link for this below. And I have one more thing. Not that I really need this, I just really wanted it. <laughs> and since I'm making these pie dish dinners every Wednesday, I had seen this, I think it was in my Christmas wish list on Amazon. It's a, by OXO or OXO. I always say OXO, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But it's a pie plate and it has a lid. So I am going to bake mine in this and then I can put the lid on and just shove it in the fridge and that will be a lot easier and less wasteful than using plastic wrap each time. So I am waiting for my chicken to finish cooking. I'm probably gonna get started on the white sauce for this in a second, but before I do that, Misfit Produce or Misfit Market order came in today. So let me get that set up and I'll show you everything I got there and then we'll get to the white sauce for this. Okay, so it's that time. Every other week I get a big box from Misfit Market. I keep calling it Misfit Produce, but they do have more stuff than produce. So I got a little bit more than I usually do just because they had a lot of really good stuff. So let me show you what I got. So just starting over here, I don't remember getting two, but I'm sure I did. I got two big bags of just green beans. They look really good this time. Sometimes they have a lot of black spots on them, but they still taste good. So two big things of green beans. I got one white onion, it looks like, or yellow onion, two little red potatoes, and then I think these were golden potatoes, four of those. And they're just so tiny, we go through those. I don't make anything particular with any of that. And then it's January, so it's citrus season. So these are all mandarin, clementines, and these just look a little different, but these are also clementines. I think they're not labeled and they don't look like oranges, but they'll get eaten. 
<laughs> I got one grapefruit, and I love how they just come in singles because I'm the only one that eats grapefruit, and I don't necessarily want a big Costco-sized bag, so I have to eat them every day, so I enjoy just getting one. And then three red apples of some kind. I can't remember what these were called. I think they had some name I'd never heard of, Empire or something like that. Two pears. I don't know what the name of them are. <laughs> these are for Paul. I'm either going to bake with them or make him little muffins or try to get him to eat these raw again. He doesn't, not too much of a fan of raw fruit just yet. Then mostly for me, because I'm on a berry kick, I got raspberries, blueberries, and then blackberries. This box was really good this time. None of my berries got really banged up. The blackberries did ever so slightly. I don't know if you could see. This one's a little banged up here in the corner, but other than that, they're pretty good. Then more veggies. I got one beautiful zucchini, three of these little, <laughs> Paul's having a blast over there, three little seedless cucumbers. And I love these because these are the perfect size for, well, I could just eat one of those in a salad, but I've split it with Matt. So I don't have a lot of cucumber cut up. I just sliced one of these guys up for a dinner salad. It's perfect. I got a bunch of these little itty bitty carrots, which are cute. Those will probably get eaten up for salads. I got more Brussels sprouts. I'm the only one that eats these. So I just realized I have a little bit left in the fridge from the last time. I gotta see if they're okay. So these are for me, probably mostly for lunches. I got a big old thing of broccoli, a massive thing of romaine. The lettuce I've been getting from them lately has been kind of poopy. So I was super excited to get that massive thing. A big old bunch of organic spinach for salads and smoothies. These were a buck 99 kind bars the oat and honey these kind of remind me of nature valley a little bit and then i've never tried these but i mean you can't get wrong with dark chocolate same type of bar dark chocolate there are 10 bars in here and it was a buck 99. so i got two of those for just snacking and matt to bring to lunch get this out of the way for a second and then i got some pecans because i'm finally making a dent in the massive amount of nuts that i had in my pantry so i ordered more of these i might stick these in the freezer if i don't know if, if i don't think i'm going to use them right away just in case i'm going through oats like insane making these baby led weaning muffins for paul and just me eating oatmeal so i got some more bob's red mill extra thick rolled oats i don't usually care for them to be extra thick but that's what they had on sale, so I got those. And then they threw this in my bag. I didn't order this, but it's probably like a sample size. And it looks like it's just dehydrated kiwi or dried kiwi. So that should be interesting to try that. I've never had dried kiwi before. So sometimes they do that. They'll add extra things. That's kind of what I was wondering with my string beans, if they had too many string beans and just added a different bunch. It's very possible I accidentally ordered two. Very possible. I would not put it past me, but we will definitely eat those. So that's everything in my Misfit produce box this week. <laughs> what are you eating? Can you show everybody how you eat a smoothie like a big boy? <gasps> wow. Yeah, good job. Yeah. One other life update, I can't believe I forgot to say this. He's officially crawling. <laughs> it was honestly hard to tell because he's been on all fours, he hovers a little bit, he takes like one crawl step and then would fall on his stomach. And he's been doing that for a couple weeks. And then last night I put a book that he likes just out of reach and he went boom, boom, boom and did like two or three crawl steps and then flopped on his stomach. So I looked at Matt and I was like, do you call that crawling? We're just like, I guess so. So January 12th is when we said crawling was officially started. He did it once this morning, but he still prefers to like step a little bit crawling and then go in his belly to reach, or he does like a belly roll to get places. Yeah, you, yeah, you. So life's going to get more interesting. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe 
Okay, so normally if I didn't have a little Paul here, I would just put these entire whole ones in the mixer and let it go. But I don't want there to be long strands, long strands because Paul's eating it. So I'm going to just kind of cut this into like slices and put it in here and then put it in the KitchenAid. <laughs> Okay, so this is like basically building any other white sauce. I have butter that I'm going to melt, and then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of cornstarch, and then I'm gonna cook that for about two to three minutes, and then add my liquid, which is the chicken broth, I guess, from cooking the chicken breasts in here. I know you're not gonna be able to see it, so I'll show you when it's done. I'm gonna pour it right back in here. And you would also add salt and pepper, or celery salt. I'm actually just gonna add pepper because I'm not adding a lot of salt to things because of Paul. Okay, so to backtrack because my battery died, I just decided to do everything in my Instapot. So I melted a quarter cup of butter, added a quarter cup of a quarter cup of cornstarch, corn and then two cups of that broth from cooking the chicken breast in the Instapot. So it is very runny right now. It did boil and thicken. It's very hot, so I know it will cool and thicken. So I'm just letting it kind of like hang out for a second. But I was like, why am I gonna waste another bowl? So I'm gonna build the filling for this right in my Instapot. So I'm gonna grab those ingredients. We're gonna make the top, put it on top, and then I'm gonna bake this off tonight. So let me get all that stuff. Okay, so one cup, it said one and two thirds cup of mixed frozen vegetables. I'm just eyeballing a little less than two cups. And then one very generous cup of that shredded chicken. I will say this looks very runny, but that soup mix is very hot still. So I suspect it will thicken up. I hope it does. <laughs> If not, we shall see. So here's our new OXO pie dish, which I have some chicken in it because I was pulling some bits of chicken off for Paul. So here's the filling for our chicken pot pie. I mean, it looks good to me. It's like a soup. So let me just push this off to the side. Okay, so now I'm going to make the Bisquick topping. So I'm gonna mix the egg and the milk in here first. And to make my life easier, this is the cup from the chicken stock or broth. So half a cup of milk, one egg, I'm gonna mix that really fast with just a fork. And this time we're adding a cup of this quick. I'm making a dent in this guy, you guys. So we're gonna say that's half a cup. Okay, get rid of this. Mix this up. So we'll see how well I can do this in advance. I'm kind of concerned that these are gonna mix together because this is still kind of runny. Let's see if I maybe go like this to kind of help disperse it a little bit. I don't know if that's helping at all. What do you think, Paul? Think that's working? I'm gonna trust the website. I'm gonna put the cover on. This is going in the fridge until dinner time, so we'll see you guys back in a little bit. Paul's asleep, so I'm trying to be quiet. We had dinner. I liked the biscuit topping to that way better than the other two I've tried. But the condensed soup hack thing that I did, I did not care for. So that was that was the DIY condensed soup recipe in here, which used cornstarch and chicken stock, and I did not like it. So I will list below the one that I always use. I'll see if I can find the website. It, I know it by heart because I do it all the time. It's a quarter cup of butter, a quarter cup of flour. You cook that in a pan for a couple seconds. 
or a couple minutes so you burn out to get that flour taste out and then you put a cup of whole milk and it's a lot thicker that's the one I used for my freezer meals that I was talking about so I have a ton of chicken left over I still have a ton of veggies I think I might actually remake that this weekend the same exact one <laughs> Matt said it was really good it wasn't bad it just I felt like it could have been better so I might be trying that again like I said it's 10 o'clock now it's really late. I'm tired. I still have to shower, so I'm not going to be editing this video tonight. So this will be posted hopefully Thursday. So anyway, I hope everybody has a good night and we'll see you next time. Bye.